Well, another news, a controversial new cancer study suggesting that women over 50 should have fewer mammograms to save money. One checkup every two years instead of the annual guidelines currently in place. That would save the healthcare industry billions of dollars, but what would it mean for women's health? Dr. David Samadhi is a member of our medical A team, reports for duty. Okay, so what they're suggesting is rather than every year, have it every other year, you'll save money <coughs> and anxiety. So this is coming from uh, 2009 when U.S. task force actually said that you're not going to save more lives by doing mammogram every year. So just go to every other year. Right. This is a study coming from U, uh, UCSF, just pu published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. So it could be very confusing. There's a huge debate out there. And what they're saying is that you're going to find more cancers that may not be lethal. You add more to the healthcare system. The argument against this is, look, we have about 30,000, 40,000 people dying from breast cancer every year. And by not screening, you're going to add another 10,000 deaths in addition to this. Yes. So now there are three packages out there that I want people to know. American Cancer Society recommends starting screening at the age of 40. Mm -hmm. Because we have a lot of people dying between 40 and 50. You don't want to skip your mammogram. That will cost you about $10, million, $10 billion. That's a good package that a lot of people should be screened and know what the data is. This package, which is the every other year one, mm -hmm. would bring the cost to about 3.5 billion. That means starting 50 to 74, every other year you get mammogram. How much do you save? Seven billion dollars. The European one, so that's a premium. This is gold. Now silver is only between 50 to 70. That will cost 2.6 billion. Now, we can talk about cost and healthcare, but it's very difficult to tell someone, a patient in front of me, I'm a prostate cancer expert. When I see someone over there that says, you know what, it's going to cost too much to do the screening. When you find the cancer spread to their bone and spread, there's no money, there's no value when you deal with families. So sure. there's the emotional part, there's a life that we're saving as doctors, and then there's these big billions. And to me, knowing that information, Steve, Brian, and, and this is extremely important to know what we're doing. Now, you should be a huge advocate for sure. mammograms well, and women out there. Every woman in my family has had breast cancer, so I, I take this a little personally. I don't understand how when you have one in eight women out there being diagnosed and then losing their lives to breast cancer down the road, we know that time is a lifesaver when it comes to uh, breast cancer and finding an early and early detention. One in eight Okay, I don't understand, Doctor, why the government would want to risk this and on the backs of women, literally on the breasts of women, save money. Look, I agree with you 100 percent. One in eight in women and one in six among men are getting breast cancer and prostate cancer. And these two diseases are going way, way parallel. I've said it also that, you know, I give credit to women that are still pushing for mammograms. And guys, unfortunately, after Super Bowl, they, are one, they don't want to hear about the PSA. You've got to get screened. But the question that Brian always brings up, does every... A mammogram or every PSA means biopsy and does every biopsy mean a real treatment? You've got to be smart about it. You've got to talk to doctors that are expert in the field right. and get a second opinion. But to walk away from the deal, that's a bad news. I can't believe how predictable I've become. I ask the same question every time. No, but my last thing is make the test cheaper. Don't cut out the test because if you stop something, you don't need the treatment, which costs more. Thanks. Well, that's certainly the way to go. So we're going to post a lot of this about prostate cancer on roboticoncology.com. People that are diagnosed Robotic with roboticoncology.com. Okay. If you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, call in and we will help you. And hopefully the breast okay. cancer field is also they're out there helping a lot of people. Don't compromise on your health. Right. I think yeah. you just yeah. help people. Thank you. Right we're, we're about saving lives. And thank you for doing this. Great thank information, you, Doctor. Thank, thank you. you.